Hi. A new friend, Pete, with a YouTube channel called Tyrish Times, interviewed me on his channel last week. Since then, my channel has grown by over 250 subscribers, so welcome everybody and thank you, Pete. Now, my first impulse was to do maybe a montage, a collection of my old videos. I've been doing this now uh, regularly for about 20 months, and I thought I would show my new subscribers some of the stuff that I've done in the past. And when I thought about it, I realized that the interview that these new subscribers watched was 30 minutes of me talking about my past. So, yeah, I rethought that. I don't think that will work. What I want to do here for this video is take a look forward of things you might expect from this channel uh, down the road. But while I was in that mindset of thinking about the past, I went looking at my catalog of videos and found this, my very first video on YouTube. That was a professionally done video, a promotion for the yoga spa that I work for in Singapore, BYCH Yoga. The name of that promotion was The Power Within Look Good Naked. Look Good Naked was kind of the motto of the yoga spa that I work for. I don't think she was thinking of me when she made that motto up. But the video speaks to something that I want to speak about now in this video is I kind of want to up my game in terms of producing videos and start to bring a little bit more production value to what I'm doing. And there's a steep learning curve that I've begun and I'm trying to get better at it. You see, when I first started shooting these videos, the people that influenced me were a friend of mine named Paul and some of the people that I watched on YouTube, like Harold Bader. Well, after a long day of vlogging, I sure could go for a, a Chinatown right now. People like that would just go out to a place and point their camera at um, the place that they were traveling through and tell stories about those places. And that's how I began shooting my videos. Hi, welcome to Bangkok. Now that video began with the screech of an engine brake of a truck running up Ekamai Road and then hitting a metal plate. So all of that background noise at the time, I didn't even hear when I was starting to edit the videos. It was just part of the environment, and I accepted that as part of authenticity in urban video making. Yeah, well, that I think has got to go because the people that are doing really, really well on YouTube, except for a handful of few people like Harold, he's still shooting videos, and a few others that make you know totally unscripted, you know one you know one take kind of videos, um, they're good, and I, I don't know if I still watch them and I like them, but I, I think the general game in, in in video making is starting to demand a little bit better quality in the kind of videos that you put together. When I began shooting videos regularly in May of 2020, I also became interested in still photography, uh, something that I really enjoy doing. And I want to, going forward, start using my still photography inside of my videos. Uh, this, this is an example of the kind of uh, sh shots that I like, kind of an urban style, you know, urban photography focused on on style and how people express themselves and the way that they dress, especially here in Bangkok, which can be a very stylish city. I took this particular photograph in Talat Noi, an interesting neighborhood here in Bangkok. I no longer have a yoga business, a yoga studio that's open to the public, but I do have a space here in my home where I practice regularly with, uh, with my girlfriend, Bua Cow, and occasionally some friends. I, I want to maintain my skills for the day that we can travel freely again, I want to go around the world and take artistic pictures of the people that I've come to know all over the world in the yoga business. Uh, people who are, are fantastic athletes and can express themselves through almost dance-like expressions of yoga. 
I think I could take some very beautiful pictures doing that. And I want, I, I, I want to incorporate that into my video making going forward as well. And that will involve, you know, global travel when we can do that again. So that's another element of video making that I, that I want to try going forward. I intend to continue to go out and walk around and make uh, travel vlogging style videos because I like them. You know, and I want to show my viewers around wherever it is that I'm, I'm shooting. Today, I'm going to this really lovely park along the canal. This is the Klang Tan Canal, known as the Klang in Thailand. It's a highly used waterway, it's a commuter way. And I'm taking my gaggle of Thai cuties here to this lovely park to shoot some uh, still pictures. How do we get in? <laughs> I'm here in this lovely garden, you know, gathering my uh, my models here. Long pal with the daughter Pinky. <laughs> That's the spot right there. The light's perfect. Yes. Okay. In addition to all the other stuff that I just mentioned, I studied psychology when I was younger and I was really kind of disappointed with what I was learning from the academic world of psychology. And I think that uh, academic psychology in combination with a, a, a media without ethics are misinforming the public. And I'm going to make videos about that as well. Crazy psychology. Now, they take a lot of effort because I have to do a lot of research, so I'm not going to do a lot of them. And there's not an endless supply of, of topics in that field, so maybe one a month you might see there. Here's a preview of the next one, my next video actually. Uh, we'll, uh, here's the thumbnail. And uh, yeah, take a look at that. It's, uh, uh, it, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I think that academic psychology departments around the world are creating uh, bad studies that misinform the public. When the media picks them up and projects them out uh, in, into, the, into the culture, the, the culture becomes misinformed. They're being fed information, and that's one of my little pet peeves. I'll do my best to keep it non-political. And last but not least, I'm doing short videos. <laughs> them on this channel because I know people that watch these long-form videos get annoyed with shorts but shorts are all over the place you have TikTok, Facebook Instagram YouTube all doing shorts and I jumped in reluctantly but I'm finding them interesting you know it's little snippets of information that you know when you string them together in a, a, a sequence of snippets you can start to tell a story with them stuff like that so I, I think that there might be some value in them uh, in that way. And, and it's part of my learning curve in making videos. I'm kind of now enjoying making the short videos. I have a channel that I'll put a link to in the description if you want to take a look at some of my short videos. And I'm right on the, the, the cusp of getting a monetized YouTube channel. So when that occurs, uh, I, I don't need the money. I'm, I'm pretty secure. You know, and and uh, what I'm going to do with that is I'll invest in better video and photography equipment to try to up my game in the in the video making world and if i begin making enough i'll be able to use those funds to hire models to do short videos and, and longer form videos as well and you know my thinking behind that are there are a lot of people here in in bangkok that could use a few bucks so if i could find a way to pass that on to people who might need it uh that that that's something that I'm thinking about as well. 
So yeah, that's where I'm going with all of this. I really appreciate you guys watching it. I have no particular agenda or objective with my video making. I like doing it. It's keeping me busy. It's keeping my old mind working and telling stories, which I love to do. So welcome aboard once again, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time.